Okay. Um, my fellow travelers, I am going to read this um, fan fiction live on stream. It is by Akuro, and um, yeah, this was an inspiration by look by my stream just now when I was looking through all the uh, the trash and um, doing the the crab. Uh, championship segment thing and unfortunately I didn't win that so this is The Crab Thick by Akuro The Summary When walking around Callus encounters Turner and partakes in a crab eating competition but then please note that this fanfic <laughs> fanfiction is a joke I made it based off a live stream I've watched lol Elusive L, you are the best. Hey, <laughs> thank you so much, Akoro, for that shout out. And yes, disclaimer: it is a joke. Um, it's it's don't t don't take it seriously by this fan fiction, but use it use it to its humor. Anyways, here is the crab fic. <clears throat> What's up? Hankering for some local boulder town. Uh, snacks to fill your belly? Turner said in a happy tone. Tell me about this competitive eater championship. Callus said in a wondering tone. It was then Turner said a sentence that would haunt Callus for the rest of his life. See these plates of already fried rock crabs? After some talking and explaining, Callus said he was ready for the competition. After boasting about how Callus was going to take on the competition, Callus finally started the challenge. He took the bite, but a strange tingling feeling came inside of him. Callus said in his mind, it feels like heaven. He took another bite, but he didn't want to stop. He just kept on eating, without ever stopping to think of the consequences. C crab son, you are the love of my life. With that bite, he fell in love deeply with the crab he so adored. Bite after bite, he ate and ate, and he occasionally kissed the crab as he ate it. Crab son, how could you taste so delightful? Callus loved the crab so much, not even questioning why he was eating the love of his life. He ate it slowly, very slowly, savouring every single bite that he was eating. He just couldn't stop himself from eating the love of his life. But why? Why would he just eat the love of his life? But no, he didn't think of that. At least not yet. He only thought of how tasty the crab tasted, not even thinking about the consequences about what was about to happen to him. But then, he felt the crab move. Callus, you are eating me. How could you? The crab shed a tear. I... Wait, why am I eating the love of my life? Kala's whole eye fell apart in the blink of an eye. Crabson, no, don't die, please. It's too late, the crab said sadly. You lovely fucking asshole. <laughs> it was then Kala's felt himself hurt so badly. He fell into darkness as he held the crab as it slowly died a miserable, sad death. Callus went home crying, realizing his very mistake. It's too late now. Unfortunately, I can't take back time. But then he felt a pain in his lower body. It hurt so badly, but it wasn't his heart. It was something different. Something strange. It was... <laughs> <laughs> it was his left ass cheek. His left... <clears throat> his left ass cheek was turning on him in a time where he really needed the glorious behind, the derriere. He felt his vicious peach slowly turn on him had him slowly die inside in a very slow 
and tedious way. His round of pancake started talking. You mistaken son of a bitch. Uh, that crab you ate is poking your shit. <laughs> Wait, that means the crab is alive? Crab son, you are alive. <laughs> you are alive. Poking my forbidden brown meat. <laughs> <laughs> the crab yelled in a very high-pitched tone. Yes, you crab-loving whore. I'm alive and I'm about to get your ass. I'm sorry, what? Yes, your ass is about to get beat. That's the moment he realized the love of his life turned on him. He had no other choice but to make the crab pay for his crimes. He knew exactly what to do. He, <laughs> he needs to go... To Taco Bell and shit that bitch out. <laughs> he tightly clenched his forsaken anthills and started to march seventh. <laughs> march seventh to the local Taco Bell that just opened. When he walked into the door, he told the employee, I would like a bean burrito with extra cheese and extra beans to be continued. Wow. Oh my god. And there's another part to this as well. <laughs> oh my god, that is absolutely amazingly um I I mean you, you you can't take it. You can't take it into consideration because it's full of humor. Like it says on the disclaimer. But oh my god, what a fanfic. <laughs> 